and welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited to have you guys here. Um, I just thought I'd record a work day in my life because I'm finally settled into my new home and just got back to work. You know, not fully moved in yet, but working on it. Uh, and work's busy. So I thought I'd take you with me on a day as a digital organizer um, who works on social justice issues in Washington, DC. Yeah, so I am going to get ready right now uh, and then we'll catch up soon. So I am just going to put on my earrings and a little bit of makeup just to kind of make myself feel a little like more ready for work, I would say, I guess. Um, so my little gold earrings that Jake gave me. I have like all my favorite makeup all just in this one box and I, it's like mainly what everything that I use. Um, just because I don't use a lot of makeup and I'm not going to use a lot today obviously because I am just working from home and I probably won't leave the house because of social distancing. Um, so just do that to my eyebrows, brush my baby hairs because they are wilding. Today is going to be super busy at work. I will be doing all these digital actions, um, contacting them to make sure they go out and vote. So that'll be part of my day, but we're also working in several other states that we deemed important in this election. All right, so I'm gonna finish my makeup and then I'm gonna head down and have my coffee and set up my workspace. So after I finish getting ready, I'll typically head downstairs, turn on my Nespresso, get out my pod for the day. And yeah, it's definitely a great part of my day, getting my caffeine, having a latte. Um, and I definitely love this machine. If you haven't bought one, definitely check it out. Mind your business. I make tea. I make tea. I put hot water in tea. Shut up. So as you can see, Jake's definitely my nemesis sometimes, but I love him very much and we definitely have a lot of fun in the mornings before we both start working. It is one of my favorite parts of the day that we just get to spend some time together, have some coffee before we separate and get to work. Good morning guys, so I am totally set up in my little office space. Um, I have my coffee and my breakfast, so yeah, I'm all set up. I have my computer in front of me. I have calls on calls on calls today, but I just thought I'd give you guys a quick overview of what I'm doing, especially if you haven't been here before. Um, but I am, it's a moth. I am a digital organizer um, in Washington, D.C. I work on social justice issues, and that is a passion of mine, and I'm so glad that I ended up here within two years of, within three years of graduating college, when I graduated in 2017. And um, basically, I just wanted a job in issues that I really care about. And so I ended up in a job that worked on lowering prescription drug prices. And that wasn't something I was passionate about, but it's something I agreed with. And I worked there for a year and I gained a lot of valuable skills that um, because it was a nonprofit that was very small, I kind of did all kinds of things. And so I was able to gain a really why digital skill set. I didn't study this in school, um, but I was able to use that digital skill set that I gained at that job to um, get a new job with another organization that has issues that I'm really passionate about. So um, I work on a pretty small team at like a little bit of a larger nonprofit. It's a lot of fun. I'm really passionate about it. I basically get to work with people all over the country who are also passionate about the same issues and I get to help empower, not empower them, I get to help them achieve goals that they um, have no idea how to do because it's digital and maybe they don't have the, they haven't learned how to use a tool before. So I make sure everything runs well for them. I set up tools for them. Um, I basically just work to support them and it's a lot of fun and it's great. 
But yeah, so I'm gonna get on a call in like four minutes. It's like my morning meeting with my team where we all just chat for a little bit and talk about what we're each doing in the day, especially now that we are um, working from home. So we can't like connect throughout the rest of the day. So we just connect once in the morning. And then I have tons of meetings today because today is an important day. It's the Wisconsin primary. And so I'll be doing a ton of work around that. Um, but yeah, let's get started. So I just finished my first meeting and at the same time I was going through my schedule and like my to-do list. And today is gonna be so busy. I just have like so many different things moving all of it from every direction with different departments. And so yeah, it's gonna be pretty, pretty crazy. I messaged my list of things I'm doing to my manager and she's like, that is a busy day. So it is gonna be really busy. Um, I'm just gonna finish my coffee now. And it's so nice because I have a little gap between some meetings, um, which is sweet. Um, so I'm just gonna maybe have another coffee or drink some water or go hang out with Jake for a few minutes because he's working in the living room. Um, yeah, sorry, I just got a message from my, my manager, so I'm gonna deal with that right now. I was just talking at the camera and it wasn't recording. But, so I have a lot going on today. First, right now, I'm going to send out an email just updating my colleagues on our metrics for our ads for the past week. And then I'm going to be uh, meeting, or not meeting, obviously, but talking with a um, director of one of our partners. I wanted to send out a text to remind them all to a vote. Um, but because we're working with a partner there, I obviously have to ask them if they, that's something they want to do because I just want to uh, serve them and uplift their work and I want to see if that's something they even want to do. Um, so as you can see, like I came up with this idea, but I want um, to make sure that, so like obviously I have to talk with a few different people before I can do some of this work. So a lot of my work is just like trying to connect with different people, trying to get on people's schedules, then trying to get on my schedule. It's, pretty crazy so I'm gonna work on that now so because I'm so busy I was just got on another call with my colleagues and they decided to cancel the meeting because um, we're so busy there's a moth stuck in the house I'm gonna let it go free if it can escape come on moth oh, it's nice out today You can hear the cicadas, cicadas, I don't know how to say it, it's fine. Chirping. I don't know where the moth went. Maybe it escaped. I hope so. Anyway, so I just got word from our partner that they're good to go with the text, but we had to make sure it's like a special kind of text and doesn't say certain things. Um, so I'm gonna have to make sure that happens. And yeah, I think I'm gonna sit next to Jake for a little while in the living room to work, um, just because I miss him. To me, that you make good progress. Yeah. I'm very happy with you, Susan. She's done excellently. Turning around her life. No. I have my second coffee. Oh, I was just gonna say. Okay. Hey guys, so I just got off my longest call of the day. Um, it was a long one, but um, I'm just gonna take a little break and go outside and water the garden. It is not as like sunny out right now, which is kind of nice because then the sun won't be beating down on me. Uh, but I haven't watered the garden and I need to go do that. So I'll just bring you guys with me. So this is our front garden. Uh, we actually are on a main road, which is a little bit of a bummer, but the insulation in the house is so good and you can't hear anything <laughs> from the road. Um, but the garden just adds so much curb appeal. Um, it was recently 
really hurt by the hurricane that came through so as you can see it's it's been damaged but I'm doing my, my best to clean it up and hopefully it will be back to its normal state soon. Uh, as you can see we grow tomatoes which is awesome as well. So Jake and I are definitely amateur gardeners and I was just doing the tomatoes right now and look at this massive tomato that I found uh, and there was like a few that I had to pluck uh, and get rid of but I have one good tomato. We're definitely amateurs and hopefully we'll get a bigger harvest next time. Hey guys, so I just came back from outside doing the garden and it was really nice. Um, so Jake and I basically inherited like a really big garden during our house purchase and Jake and I, uh, I'm definitely not a gardener, um, but Jake's like an amateur gardener. Uh, but I went out to, we haven't had time to like go through all the bushes and like prune it and like remove dead, dead uh, buds or tomatoes. Uh, so today was the first day we had a chance to do it and I pulled off like five really gross tomatoes um, and just left the green ones that are still growing. Uh, we got two tomato, good tomatoes like three days ago and then we got one today, so that's really fun. Um, but I need to learn gardening quick because we have tons of different kinds of flowers and plants and herbs and I don't know what to do. Um, I just want to take care of them and help them to grow, remove the bad parts, whatever. I only have experience with indoor plants and I'm good at making indoor plants live, but gardening in the wild is a whole different thing. But anyway, that was a nice little break. I'm just trying to hydrate after being in 90 degree heat for a while, um, but yeah. So after that meeting, Ayala's left with quite a bit of stuff to do. So I'm going to work on that now. Um, it's 2.35, so I'll be working for another like two and a half, three hours. And yeah, that's kind of what my work day is like so far. I haven't eaten. I'm going to eat a hard boiled egg for lunch. I had breakfast just because I'm so lazy to make food and protein. I don't know. Anyway, bye. Hi hey everyone, so I'm sitting outside. It is now 6.13 p.m. and I'm done with my work day. I'm probably not actually done, but I am almost done. Today was super busy at work. If you work in policy or political campaigns or anything like that, you know when there's something breaking in uh, like nationally or even locally, everything like hits the fan and it's just like rapid response at that point. Um, so basically Kamala Harris Annette was announced as Biden's VP pick today and we um, just had a rollout. Like we were kind of waiting on when that was gonna be. We didn't know when it was gonna be. We knew it was gonna be sometime this week. So we had all these things waiting. Suddenly at like four something, the tweets got sent out and we saw the articles coming out that Kamala Harris had been picked as Biden's VP. And then it just suddenly be it began this just craziness craziness like I don't even know what it would have been like in the office just like insane but so it was crazy even remote um, everyone was just going back and forth on documents trying to get the edits done I made like 15 million edits on a landing page I'd been working on but it was just crazy working in this um, type of work is always just really exciting you never know what's going to happen uh, you never know what the president's gonna tweet you just never know and that's what makes every day so special and so different and um, It's days like these that I really appreciate my job, but I am so tired. I am just like emotionally exhausted um, I'm excited to just relax tonight, but that's kind of what work was like for me today as a digital organizer in DC Hi all, so I am editing this video and I realized I didn't do an outro, but that was my work day and I hope that you enjoyed and you learned a little bit about what it's like to do, be an organizer during the elections um, in Washington, D.C. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.